the original Disney story. I'm not looking forward to it. But they actually kind of fixed a lot of the plot holes that uh, the original had. I found that, like, you got some backstory on her parents. <laughs> the other one, you're just like, oh, her parents are dead. You're like, uh... Oh. Yeah, like, just give her to the, <laughs> the stepmother yeah. who doesn't look evil at all. Here, take care of her. You, you know, it was really weird. You're like, I'm supposed to believe this? Okay, mm. sure. Yeah. And it, the mice don't talk, obviously, which is good. Oh, thank God they didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> if they would have done that, I wonder how they would have done that. Would have they done it CG? Or they would have done, like, the babe thing? Maybe Where the, 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 the mouth, mouth talking? Move, just the mouth move. And so then it's weird. It's a real mice, but just the mouth. Oh, bop, 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 bop. So weird. Hopefully not. But anyways, um, they didn't do yeah. that. And... I like that he met her before the ball, so it wasn't just like a, oh, I met you, yeah. we're in love, we it, should get yeah. married. That's one thing I had a big problem with the animated version. <laughs> her and the prince had no chemistry. When they, they never say, talked. Like, they said, like, what, three lines of dialogue? I got, the prince <laughs> doesn't even say a word in the movie, movie? barely. Yeah. All he does is, oh, that's it. And then he gets a couple lines of dialogue, and then, I'm in love. It's just, oh. What? No. <laughs> no, and like, yeah, they actually talk in this movie and, and, and build a actually, relationship. But he's needing to marry somebody for a reason. In mm -hmm. the Disney movie, it was just like, he needs to get married. Why? <laughs> this one. I love a place, the Prince. Uh, King yeah. Rob Stock. Rob Stock. You're like, oh, yes. Richard Madden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he Game makes a prince. fantastic Prince. Yeah, he was good. He was good. And he's actually finding a bride because his father is dying. Mm -hmm. He's actually ill. So this makes sense to me. I'm like, oh, he needs to find a queen to be at his side. I understand. And he actually wants... Yeah, that Everything scene with his dad. We're not going to spoil but there's a scene with him and his dad. It's very sad, touching. Actually, it's it's very touching. Sad. It's very touching. And you actually feel bad for Cinderella in this movie. And then, you know, In the Disney one, I'm like, I don't know if I feel bad. I or felt like bad for her, <laughs> but I didn't feel as bad. And I'm like, like it's, why are you helping these women out? Yeah, like, yeah. You can just say shut the fuck up or something. This one, she actually feels like she's forced to do it. Because her... Uh, her dad her really dad, wanted to take care of this family. Her dad thought that this woman was yeah. going to be a good woman to her. And she turned out not to be. And he... Oh, yeah, she just... Steals he, the oh, movie. I love this movie. I love her in this. Uh, she's so over the top, but so I good. love it's so it. So good. She's so good. She's so compelling. And she's so malicious. Yeah, and this movie was directed by Kenneth Branagh. Oh, I love it. All the Shakespeare movies. I love Kenneth Branagh. Oh, yeah, it's a very Shakespearean kind of style. <gasps> like Othello. Like I love Othello. Oh, yeah. I, like what you oh, do about nothing? Hamlet. Like ha Henry V. If you don't like Shakespeare movies, I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Or anime or Disney movies, too. You know, you can't get out those in there. <laughs> yeah, and I like Cinderella. I liked it. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, all right, my number six. She said it, Tron. I like Tron. <laughs> I don't, it's not going into too much detail because we already talked about it, but I love Tron. Tron is so good. It's so visually appealing. It's not dated. And, yeah, Jeff Bridges is awesome. Why? Well, of course, it's Jeff Bridges. Yeah, and it's patient. It's very, like, a lot of people who like video games would like this movie. Well, I feel like that's where a lot of their audience came from. Yeah, a lot of people who love video games would really enjoy this movie. Yeah. Yeah, and I love this movie, and don't need to go into details. Tron's awesome. Number six. Number six is The Muppets. Muppets! I've got <laughs> everything that I need right in front of me. I just me. love Jason Segel and... <laughs> yeah, he wrote this movie. <laughs> which yeah. I thought it was... And he wrote all the songs, which I yeah. thought was amazing. I'm a man, <laughs> Muppet! Oh, Jim Parsons in that scene. <laughs> I love Jim Parsons. <laughs> She's barely in it, but, but yeah. cameo Muppet for Jim Parsons. all, man. It has Muppet some of the greatest man. cameos in a movie ever. Yeah. There's so many cameos in it. And I, I thought it was kind of weird that it was like... He grew up with this Muppet. I thought it's quirky, when it but comes it worked. To, when it comes to the Muppet universe, it's old, quirky. not a lot of things make Makes sense. sense. And, you know, some things you're like, yeah, they're Muppets, <laughs> but you know, just deal with it. Just go, it's it's yeah. okay. And this brought the Muppets back. It did. Oh yeah, in a good way. We didn't see the Muppets for so long, and I loved this movie. It's so good. I got to see all your, the your favorites. You know, oh, Kermit, Kermit Miss Gonzo, Miss Piggy, all of them, Fuzzy Bear, all of them are I love back. Gonzo. Oh yeah, they're so good. 
And I love the cameos were great. Like Jack sure. Black was funny. That was funny. Yeah, they got MPH in it. You got Alan Arkin and oh, Chris Cooper is this very silly villain. Yeah. Maniacal laugh. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. <laughs> All of the villains are supposed to be over the top goofy. Oh, it, it works. Well, it's a Muppets movie, and I love the Muppets. It's so good. I love the Muppets. Yeah, it brought the Muppets back. I liked it as a kid. I like it now. Oh, I thought it was so amazing. Good. It's okay. It's okay. Good old Jason Segel. Thank yeah. you for bringing back such an awesome movie. So yeah, Muppets is our number six. My number five, shocker, The Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love The Muppets. Uh, just like as we were saying, I, I love the characters. Brought the characters back. Jason Segel, Amy Adams were great. All the cameos were good. The musical numbers kicked ass. Love The Muppets. I won't talk into too much detail, but yeah, Muppets is my number five. <laughs> your number five. So my number five was one of your honorable mentions. Now, I think it's maybe just because I secretly love this movie. It's The Santa Claus. Oh yeah, I love, Christmas movie. I love Tim Allen. I love Christmas. If you don't know me, I really like Christmas movies. Yes. Actually, everybody in our house loves Christmas. Loves movies. Christmas. Our movies. mom has a weird obsession. <laughs> She's an obsession with. She Christmas watches Christmas movies, movies well, and it's like not Christmas. yeah, like the summertime or You're like, like mom. It's not Christmas. Like mom, yet. it's May. <laughs> We're not watching Christmas movies. <laughs> but she kind of got us on this kick that we we, yeah. we have a really soft spot for Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. And The Santa Claus was one of the first I remember ever watching. Yeah. And it always stuck with me. Uh, it's got a really heartwarming story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I oh, like yeah. that he becomes, you know, Santa Claus. He doesn't believe it. But actually strengthens his relationship with his son. You know. And, yeah, Tim Allen's And he believes in things that are... Yeah. It, it sounds silly, but he believes in things that are maybe magical and yeah. a little bit beyond yeah. this world and it's really amazing yeah it goes into a lot about the belief structure the comedy this movie is very fantastic. good it's very good tim allen is great he did a Classic lot of tim allen is oh yeah fantastic. yeah this is actually during like, when he like did home, home, improvement. home improvement and stuff and he was great in this movie he actually makes this movie good oh my goodness yeah, yeah i like other characters in this movie like george reinhold and bernard and stuff bernard's fantastic they're good characters but bernard's this is tim, yeah this is tim allen's movie he makes this movie. Steals it. None of this movie could not have Exist. been good. It, it, it wouldn't have worked unless they got Tim Allen. He is the Santa Claus. Yeah, he's so like good. he's yeah. so funny. Yeah, the sequels. I actually don't hate the second one. But I don't hate the second I, one. The I, third I one is not that great at all. The, like I think my favorite part is watching him transition into Santa Claus. Oh yeah. When he's running on the treadmill because he's trying to lose all this weight, but he can't lose it, and he <laughs> shaves and it grows back in like an hour. Like a little weight to you. He's like getting fat. <laughs> and his, track, beard. his track pants. Every time he day. shaves, the beard just keeps growing back. It's very funny. It's very funny. <laughs> I just thought it was such a heartwarming story. I remembered loving it as a kid and mm. why it reminded Still so me. so good. Still holds up. Reminded me why kids believe in Santa Claus, and mm -hmm. I thought. It was adorable and heartwarming, and I hold that movie so close to my heart. Yeah. So if you don't like it, you're really mean. <laughs> Some people don't. Some people don't. I enjoy it. She it, loves it. It's a great movie. Great for Christmas. Great for the kids. Okay, my number four is a, a very new one, too. Uh, Saving Mr. Banks. It's a good movie. This is about my number one. <laughs> Oh, well, you even give it away. I, I, I okay, I'm, I'm even going to say what it's about now. It's about, they're making a movie, of an old Disney movie, and then P.L. Travers, who wrote the book, like, she's uh, basically helping out with the movie, helping out with the yeah. script, and she doesn't agree with the, the movie. She doesn't like that it's animated in she's live a action. Very, she's a very picky woman, and she thinks the songs are very over the top. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, Emma Thompson Fantastic. is so good. She got robbed of an, of Oscar, an Oscar nomination. She, at least a nomination. She was fantastic. She was so compelling. Yeah. She was so like. And she was great at playing an unlikable and a likable and character. Likable character. Yeah. You parts where you're like, yeah. this woman is just evil. And Tom Hanks was so good as Disney and Walt Disney. I loved Colin Farrell. He was good too. I yeah, Colin, Colin Farrell, Farrell was, was so amazing. Good. Yeah, he was good. The scenes with the backstory of Peel Travers is very good with a oh, little girl. He's and, playing her dad. Uh, oh, yeah, and he's a and, drunk. And he's, oh, a mean drunk. Yeah, when he is drunk. When he's not drunk, he's, he's like, the greatest dad ever. He's like one of the best dads ever. ever. He's so nice. He just loves children. Uh, you felt bad for him what happened. I won't say what happens, but... You feel some, so yeah. hard... Just, yeah, you feel bad for him. You feel bad for what this family's going through. Yeah, they they be, they're basically they were high class people, but they they come into low class people because, because of his alcohol. alcohol. His alcoholism just like ruined their family. Sad. And yeah, I love how she like made one of the characters in her book made it made it off of her dad. Like it represents she based, her dad. She actually based 
what yeah. his number one is. Yeah. She based the story off of her own life. And off her her aunt slash nanny. Maybe. Yeah, it was the main character. I, everyone knows what we have talked about, but I'm still not going to say it. We won't say it. You know exactly what it is. You know exactly what it is. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. A spoonful of sugar. sugar. Now we're really fucked. Now we're really spoiling it. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways. Right. Number four. <laughs> my number four is The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh. Another fairly new movie with Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. He does well at Disney movies. He should just do Disney movies. These, these are all band shoes. I beg your pardon. I love them. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I love Jay Bruchel. Uh, yeah. I love that he's, he's Canadian. He's Canadian. I know. I, I like... Go Canada. We can Woo! do things. We're actually... We can act. We're um, good actors, sort of. I know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Only if you're funny, apparently. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you're, like, super good-looking. Yeah. Like, I like Rachel it. McAdams. Yeah. Anyways. So, <laughs> so, I thought The Sorcerer's Apprentice was uh, fun. Really funny. I actually thought they had a believable romance in the movie. Now, Disney movies don't always do that for me. Yeah. You may not fully agree, but I love the scene. I don't know if any of I won't spoil fully, but there's a scene where he's with her, and one of my favorite songs that's in the yeah. soundtrack of the movie is in this scene, and it's visually a very appealing scene, yeah, yeah. and it was shot really yeah. well, and I thought it was amazing. I don't, like, love this movie. I enjoy it. Like, Nicolas Cage is just so good in this movie. Jay Baruchel's good. He's I... supposed to be, again, like, an unlikable but likable character. He's just a really grumpy yeah. Sorcerer. <laughs> he's just a yeah. really grumpy What's his name? Sorcerer. Balbasaur? Balthasaur? <laughs> well, you know, he, call, he makes fun of it and he, he can't say his name half the time. It's like Balthasar. I call Bulbasaur from, like, you know, yeah. Pokemon. He, Bulbasaur, fine whips. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Raise our leaves. Come on now. You yeah. know it was a good movie. Yeah. I didn't like Alfred Molina as the villain, though. God, I was, didn't hate him as the villain. I, I didn't like him in that movie. Yeah. Well, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> Okay. You don't have to agree with me. Oh, yeah. We're like a bunch of two-year-olds now. Um, Carry on. What's your number three? My number three is a classic. Old Yeller. But that's, that would be sad. <laughs> yeah, they... Sh that's spoilers, like they first... shoot the dog at the end. The end. <laughs> it's just like watching Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, they shoot the dog. Um, God, it's sad. Yeah, this movie's a little disturbing to watch because... We need a little. Yeah, because some of the... Some, a fucking...